Now everything we've done here will be made simpler by using our software. In fact, if you're using the dataset that accompanies this module, you can open the Jinxing dataset. And to actually analyze these data, we can follow a couple simple steps. I'll simply go to the distribution platform and put IQ in as my Y column. When I click OK, we'll get the standard distribution output. In order to test the mean, we'll go to the red triangle next to IQ and select Test Mean. Here, we're given the option to specify our null hypothesis mean. I've entered 100, and importantly for us now, we'll enter the true standard deviation that we know. Now, often in science, we won't know the true population standard deviation, so we'll leave this blank. This is a very special case where we actually know the standard deviation of the population, so I've entered it here. Notice that we know this standard deviation because we made an assumption that the standard deviation of the treated population wouldn't change. We won't always be able to make that assumption, but in this case, we know the population standard deviation because we know a lot about the IQ distribution. Now when I click OK, Jump will return our hypothesis test and we'll see some familiar figures. First, we have our test statistic, that is the Z sub X bar of 1.60. We're a little bit more specific here because we're working with the real data. Next, you'll see the two-tailed p-value of 0.1085. The way Jump returns this is the probability or proportion of the sampling distribution greater than the absolute value of our z. Now, in this case, that means the proportion of the sampling distribution above positive 1.96 plus the proportion less than negative 1.96. Remember, a p-value is just a way of describing how extreme our sample is, and we hope to get very small p-values. In this case, we didn't get a p-value that was extreme enough, that is, small enough, to allow us to reject the null hypothesis. So, in the evaluate stage, we're simply going to make an easy decision. Is our p-value less than alpha? And if it is, we can reject the null hypothesis. On the other hand, is our p-value greater than alpha? where we fail to reject the null hypothesis.